Hey y'all, Adam from hookandclaw.com. Uh, welcome to today's video. We're going to be mounting your bass. Uh, only tools we're going to need is your staple gun, your mannequin, and your bass. And uh, this is part of our bass series from start to finish how to mount your own bass. And uh, we've had a lot of fun doing this, man. Met a lot of new people. And uh, we're just having a good old time. And I think we're about halfway done. The hard part, the blood and gore and all that mess, that's behind us. We got a fresh skin, a clean mannequin. Everything's gonna be gravy from here on out. Go ahead and throw you some borax on that skin. And it's gonna help preserve some of that skin. Uh, if you missed any fat or whatever, a little bit of meat, it don't really matter. That borax is gonna take care of it. You ain't gonna have no problem. And uh, have you a little stand to put your bass on the dry once you put it on. And we're actually gonna cut this into two videos. We're gonna do one video mounting the bass. The next video is gonna be setting the fins and the gill and the tail and all that. Cause you really gotta do that all at one time. You don't wanna let them fins dry out or whatever. And uh, so we're gonna do that on the next video. So be sure to check that out. But uh, anyway, let's get started. All right, let's get started. We got our mannequin. Now, by the way, your mannequin, it never comes from the taxidermy supply house. Uh, perfect. You gotta take a rasp and um, file it on down. It's just foam. And uh, until you can put it in the bass and uh, get it fitting halfway, you know. You don't want a mannequin too big sticking out the bass. So I formed this one right much. It was about an inch too big. But uh, basically, you're going to slide that mannequin inside the fish. And there's a hundred ways to skin a cat, but the way I was taught, that worked pretty good for me. I get this head right first, and I line that fin up with the very top of the mannequin. Try to get it real snug. It's a little tricky, but use one hand to keep that mannequin tight. Throw you a staple in there. And hey, if you staple wrong, you can always go back and take them out and try it again. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Once I get that first staple in, I'll just keep that back going in a straight line. Just work your way on down. All right, work your way down the top. Get the bottom lined up and everything. Staple the bottom and uh, we'll check right back in with you. Good luck. All right, as you can see, we just finished <clears throat> Wasn't nothing to it. 30 seconds. Pull tight, staple, and if you don't like how it looks, you might need to do some trimming to the mannequin. You can take it back off and keep these fins and tail wet. But um, it's okay if you got a gap right there. We're actually going to fill that in with some epoxy sculpt. But uh, now go ahead and mount it to your stand. So this baby can dry. Hey folks, as you can see, we're starting to look like a fish now. Got it up on the stand and uh, that's gonna be all for this video. Check out the next videos where we're gonna card the fins and the tail and uh, get ready for put, putting eyes in. And uh, everything else is just some uh, epoxy sculpt work and a little bit of preparation before we start painting. 